All right, welcome back to another episode. Today I am in Sayulita, Mexico, uh, joined by... Anne Stranges. Okay, so tell me about yourself. Gosh, that's a big question. From Niagara Falls, Ontario, I went to school in Louisiana for a bit. I was playing soccer down there, transferred to the University of Calgary, moved there for love, and... Uh, it happens. <laughs> it happens. That's fine, yeah. And I've spent the last 12 years in Calgary, Alberta in residential real estate, and now I'm here in Sayulita, Mexico. And I share my time between Calgary and Sayulita, serving both communities. So I've been doing this for about three and a half, four years now. It was mostly prompted by COVID. And um, yeah, it's it's been a really fun adventure and it's it's actually taken a life of its own because a lot of my sphere of influence and clients in Calgary end up purchasing in Sayulita and Bucerias, just in the Bay of Banderas area. So it's, yeah, it's been really fun. And so you say people are purchasing, Canadians are purchasing, what are they purchasing? Like what, what are the offerings yeah. in Sayulita? I would say most people are looking to purchase condos, something that's really easy to lock and leave. Um, two bedroom condos, Some a lot of people like having a lock off option uh, because that can allow for easier and more flexible rentability when they're not there. And then, I would say 30 to 40 percent are looking for a residence, a proper home, detached home that they're not renting out, and it's just for their family and friends to use. Oh, for me, uh, like I've spent a lot of time. I've done Costa Rica. I've done a lot of different spots. I really do like Costa Rica. Sayulita to, to me is more the like Mexico Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. uh, Costa Rica was a long ways away. Uh, it was usually two, sometimes direct flights, sometimes two flights. Mm -hmm. uh, say you need to go to Puerto Vallarta and it's one flight to everywhere you need to go. Uh, so for me, it's like say you need to make sense. There's cobblestone roads. It's not mud everywhere uh, when it's rainy season. It's, yeah. uh, it, it works. Uh, so when your uh, clients are coming down to say you need to, what are they asking you? A lot of them, kind of like Jesse asked me yesterday, what should I do, where should I go and dine? Um, and it, not just in Sayulita, like I live in Sayulita, so of course, you know, this is where I spend majority of my time, but you know, in Bucerias as well, Lidibu, La Cruz, Punta Mita, but a lot of people are just looking for lifestyle recommendations. They want to have an authentic experience. I think people want to feel like they're a part of the community. And there's so many great opportunities in Sayulita for people to feel like they're a part of the community. Volunteering options with um, animal shelters, um, with other local communities, trash pickup, um, like beach cleanups. There's frequently those. Um, it's just, it's a really easy place to integrate in the part of town. And I think anyone who's visited for two or three days it takes such a short amount of time for locals and expats because there's a ton of expats that live in town as well just to instantly feel like you're a part of the community you see someone twice and then you're suddenly best friends and that's of kind of the that's the charm that i love about sayulita and something i said to jesse earlier is sayulita just has such a unique charm that it's really difficult to quantify unless you've been there and if, if you have visited, you get it and you understand that just the vibe there is, it's different from anything that I've ever experienced. That's what keeps, keeps me coming back. Oh yeah, you basically jump in the side by side and just drive anywhere you need to go, including this place that we're touring. Uh, yeah, we toured three homes together. Uh, there, you can literally jump in the side by side, go surfing uh, anytime you want, grab lunch, uh, go to the gym. There's lots of activities to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, Sayulita seems awesome. I wanted to ask us, uh, you had mentioned other areas like Punta Mita, Bucerias? Bucerias. Bucerias. Mm -hmm. What are those areas like compared to Sayulita? Every, every community has its own um, micro, I don't want to say microclimate because that's not the right word, but each area has its own unique aspect. So Sayulita is known for being hippie, laid back, easy going. It's where you want to surf, have some tacos and beer on the beach, on the street, just like a lot of people walking around barefoot. Um, Punta Mita is a lot more sophisticated. There's also a good surfing spot there as well. Um, you've got really high-end restaurants, Bucerias, because it's inside of the bay, the water's really gentle, there's lots of kite surfing, um, a lot more paved roads there, really fantastic restaurant scene. So 
it just depends the pace that you're looking for. In Bucerias, there's also um, a lot more of the big chain store. So if you want like a proper grocery store, we're doing a day trip to Bucerias type of thing because in Sayulita, we just have a lot of the local tiendas. So you just get your fruit, vegetable, you go see the local family that has the fish market, your meat. So it's it, that's something that I really love about living in town is that aspect of community is you know when you're shopping at these places you are supporting a local family and you see that family coming in bringing the fish in that they caught and selling it to the community so yeah it's 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 really neat it's not something that you experience back in Canada or the the US not that I've experienced anyways maybe some in some places people have that and now we're talking about the areas, so uh, can you differentiate between the different areas of Sayulita? I know that we've shot in one area uh, with like a penthouse right on the beach, mm -hmm. but then there's also what the northern beaches, mm -hmm. and you mentioned to me that's where a lot of the expats go. Mm -hmm. uh, can yeah. you differentiate? Yes, uh, Sayulita for being such a small town actually again like very intricate aspects to it as well so i would say the south side features um, properties that are more situated to rentals but they're right on the beach uh, calle pescadores is, is the road that you're on there don pedro's restaurant is there which is fantastic i love having lunch there it's right on the beach you can watch the surf so the south end is more um, high-end homes where people are turning them into rentals same on the north end but the north end is just known for being um, where people just want to go and relax. You're not near the hub of town, you're not hearing music, partying, but the North End Beach is really calm, it's gentle, there's still services down there, but it's just a fun place to hang out. I really enjoy hanging out at the North End Beach myself. Except for that crazy water slide? Oh yeah. There's, yeah, you gotta tell me about the crazy water slide. There's a new hotel in town um, that's on the North End and they've got a water slide. And I was telling Jesse the other day that you know, you can see it from the beach. If you're anywhere on the beach, you just see this white spiral. And when it was first built, I was like, I need to go on that slide. And we actually had our brokerage Christmas party there. And I went on the slide with our office manager's daughter. And this slide was just so fast. The poor girl just like bonked her head and she came out crying. I felt terrible. But a few minutes later, she wanted to go down the slide again with me and I was traumatized. <laughs> But it was a very, very fast slide. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds awesome. It's Mexican rules. Yes. It's like just anything goes. That's right. And the best thing about you saying Christmas party, when most Canadians or Americans are thinking about Christmas, they're thinking white. When you're thinking Christmas here, you're thinking like, what, what, what are the temperatures like Christmas I'm thinking here? white sand, Jesse. Okay, white sand, <laughs> summer, tan. Yes. Uh, what, like 25, 26, 27. Today was what, 28 and it was nice and chill. Yes. Uh, yesterday was like 33. Yeah, yesterday was quite hot. Christmas here, like you'll get 25 to 28 and in the evenings it's nice and cool, so it's really great. Um, they do sell turkeys if you wanna to go to Costco and buy yourself a turkey, but I would say Christmas here, it's just, you don't have as much commercialism and pressure that you feel back at home, it's just, and I don't know if it's Sayulita or if it's just being in Mexico, but it's a really laid back place to be at Christmas. Frequently, you know, a group of us were having tacos, we're having friends over, having a potluck style at Christmas, jump in the pool, go to the beach. It's just... Sounds amazing. Yeah, it's... Yeah. You know, it's like I'm doing snow angels in the, uh, in the snow out there yeah. versus wearing three parkas. Exactly. You know, versus, you know, basically wearing anything and jumping in the water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. cool. Okay, well, uh, thank you for your time. Thanks um, for we kind of just went over anything and everything that people are interested in. If you're looking for more information, obviously you can find our details in the description box below. And other than that, subscribe to the channel and we'll, I don't know, watch the next video with you in it. Yes, yeah, sounds good. Cool. Thanks, Ciao. Jesse.